Damn, bro. My face look bloated as shit. This is why you don't eat at night time. But I got a bun me. Yes, sir. Y'all yeah, know what a bun me is. Y'all been the moon's folk. Know what it is. Uh, back up, back up. Alright, guys. Wow. Y'all see this? Let's see this. Buy this for the core. This shit is firing, bro. But we're gonna put this on, and we also going to. Y'all guessed it. Oil filter. You feel me? And guess what else? Oh, yo. So what y'all think I'ma do? Oil change, duh. Head ass. So. That's the only two things I'm gonna do today. Quick, short, simple video. You are love, peace, and whatever. Wham! Oh, and Pierce, whenever y'all make car videos or, or do cars or work out cars or whatever y'all do with cars, always put the freaking uh, gloves on because all those things and stuff be hard to get out. Alright? I'm gonna glove up, glove up. And if you have bracelets, I suggest taking them off, but I'm just doing a regular oil chase today, so I should be alright. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, well, you would need to do your uh, window visor, like the sticky tape thing. First, you would need stick, uh, uh, I said sticky water. You need soap, water, anything that will clean off the surface to make sure everything that's clean. And you would want, like, poly paper to wipe it down or... Or you should use a cloth instead, though. For real, for real. Like a mic, micro, 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 micro fiber cloth. There we go. But that's what you guys should use, for real, for real. But I'm ghetto with it, and I don't feel like buying it. So you know, it's like five bucks. But I'm just using paper towel. So <clears throat> clean around the area. There you go, stick it on. that card you should also use uh, alcohol 80% 90% that will help it more though to be honest with you but I feel like doing that and and if you do that you prep it better it will stick better so it will last longer but I ain't really worried about that but I'm about to show y'all what to do after we take it out the package and then you want to take off the tape I'm doing it with one hand, it's hard, but take this off and then we're going to stick it on. I'm going to show you. And voila. Nice. Fire him, but if I, you have run it over a couple of times, press it down and do it in the sun. Helps the glue soften up. <clears throat> and then eventually when it's nighttime, when it gets cold, it will shock it and then this will be hard. Neighbor Liddy. But repeat, <laughs> repeat with all the stuff. Line it up one side first and then line up the other side and then do the middle. So always line up the end so that it's even at the ends. And the middle you can always bend it a little bit and it's flexible. Not too flexible though. So, but, so I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna get to the oil chain. And then voila. <clears throat> This is the finished product. Could have lined it up a little better, but it's whatever. It looks better than fucking regular before. It's easy, so this is ready to ballet, ballet. Lined it up decently. Could have made it a little starter, but like I said, it's 
definitely look better than before. But you gotta make sure you gotta hold it down, thing, because it does come, tend to come on down. So it's pressing it will be good when you press it. Make sure all the glue sticks. Good. Press it all down. Make sure everything sells in good. And then, I you don't have to do this thing, but I do. I want to do it just in case. Make sure you get a better seal. Press it all the way down. No air bubbles. Cause this air bubble dirt from underneath will get inside or above will get inside the uh, tape behind it, right? And that's when it'll start to peel slowly, slowly. The debris will get inside, and this whole thing gonna fall off. And you don't want that. Cause this whole one of the, like I bought this whole thing for sixty bucks, I think. So, so each one is fifteen dollars. So, this shit drops. You down fifteen bucks. It's not, it's not that expensive, but still, nobody wanna lose money, you know. But repeat on the other side, and then I'm about to record the oil change and, and results. Yeah, it definitely looks way, way better. I don't know, for some reason, window visors, man. It looks so good. Jeez. All this car needs the rams. Already got my jack place. Jack up your car. Um, just so you have enough room to get up under there. Okay. And you will need what you will need for oil change. If you don't know how to do oil change, y'all will need an oil with uh the filter remover. You're gonna do the filter, you're gonna do oil change, and you're gonna also change the filter, which you should. You will need this. It's like the clamp thing for it. it makes your life easier unless you have the um I don't know what's it called, but it's like a belt. You put it on and you twist it, it locks it, and then you just twist it off. But you need a funnel, but you ain't need that there though. Okay, you need the oil tray, oil tray will under. So does this, just trying to get this dirty because this is where you're going to be pouring your oil fill, oil into your, your car. And you want to rock to get inside your oil for your engine. I'm going to be fucked up. And then, like I said, you will need your filter, your oil. That's all you really need. And now when you do your oil change, so you, it usually should tell you, and then I need to clean them engine bay, but usually it should tell you. That should be enough room for my fattest to get under there, y'all think? What y'all think? Yeah, yeah, my fattest can get under there. <sighs> and then your toolbox, we need your ratchet. I'll be honest with you guys, I forgot what size that I would need. So, gotta just fix this one instead. So, you get one big ratchet. I feel like there's 18, but it's not going on in the car now. I feel like getting back up. I'm gonna take 18, 17. I know that 20. That's around there. So, I'll take these four. I forgot how to do it. Put it under your car so you get up on the day have everything and then pop this open i'm gonna do that right now all right i'm gonna show you to uh, i said i wish i had somebody to help me record but i don't but so basically my shit was just locked i don't know over time it's a lot of pressure over there i'm gonna take one and then you have more uh what's that called leverage to turn it instead of using your hand easy way but don't like use one of these because they're they're the one that locks on what you're trying to do use like a regular plier hold both hands turn lefty looser remember righty tighty lefty loosey and then ah I'll turn it good and it's always good to also check every part in your car so yeah as I was saying make sure this is on top so like all the air and whatever goes through it all the oil goes out faster, whatever, whatever it takes this. Make sure you have your oil pan under there. 
I'm going to take you. Oh, good, guys. Welcome to Under the Car. <laughs> oh, man. And remember, when you guys do work on your cars, remember to always look at your parts. Anything that's rusted like this, that's bad. It's not good at all. Like, that's really bad. I ain't going to hold you. That's a problem. As you guys can see, I don't know why they're not focusing. That right there is the filter, your oil filter. And this is the STP one I'm using. The KN because lately I've been on the KN team. And then look for look for words that says oil engine. You see that guys? Look for parts that say that. I I know it's upside down, but Look for parts that say stuff like that, and then that one look nug right there, you would take it. And remember, lefty Lucy. Alright? So, left. Y'all, a trick. Since you're under the car, right? Don't try to do this, don't do this, don't, you feel me? Wiggle this, that to the third. You go back all the way to the tire side, and then you're going to push and extend your arm all the way out. Alright? Make sure it's the right size, too, or you're gonna strip the bolt. Cause this is a six head, but I got a star shape one. Go all the way back. All right, extend your arm all the way out, and then just make sure it's flush under, and then put your arm all the way at the bottom of the ratchet, and then just push. That was bad, and that's how you strip your nuts. But okay, got it loose. That worked, but. Don't do it like that. You guys are gonna strip the nuts. And then, this is why you have gloves, all right? This is gonna start leaking like crazy. Crazy. Up, I ready for the oil. Oh, shit. You see how fast that shit came out? It looked like somebody's peeing. If you're gonna leave your bolts on a rock, leave them down here so nothing gets in between the threads and the washer so none of the oil can ever fall out. That's another tip for you guys. I need a rag. And whenever you guys do 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 change the filter, always pour a little bit of oil inside of the uh, oil filter. And also, hello. And also, pour a little bit of the clean oil inside the while the uh, while the nut is loose like that, so that it gets like extra residue and stuff off. The clean oil will like wash down, you feel me, and take out like a little bit more of the odor oil, but. Remember, lube up your filter. Clamp, and then you turn. All right. And then you will turn this filter. And then look how nasty that is. Yeah. You see that? That's why you need a catch can. And then just dump whatever is left in there out. And then remember, wipe your sides, make sure your, your engine is clean. So, get a rag. Clean your hands first, for real, for real. But, get a rag, clean your hands. Okay. And then wipe down the oil in here. Then, regular. Make sure everything is clean. And then your new filter, just put it in. And then you just turn it in. Hey, we got the same brand. Ah, Canyon. in. All right. And then you would take your wrench, wrench or whatever, and you just tighten that bitch. Righty tighty. Remember. Yo. You might as well open a mechanic shop. Why? Because you like doing these. I do. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm on YouTube. And then you got a detail guy. You heard? Come fuck with the detail, man. He usually don't do his job, but 
he'll do it once in a while. Right? Right, Adrif? You don't ever fucking do your job when I ask you to do it. Uh, okay. Tighten that bolt, make sure no oil leaks. And you're basically done now, you gotta fill it up with new oil. When you open this shit, make sure the gasket around the ring around is not messed up. If it is, your oil can leak and cause engine damage. You even make sure it's clean. And it is. So whenever you maintenance your car, always look at the car parts. Like anything that looks off, too rusted, like something like that. It could also cause a problem in the long run. So it's better to change it out now than later. Okay? Okay. Just listen to me, mechanic man. Yo, G, hold this real quick for me, since you're here. Hold this for me since you're here, baba. Well, you better hurry because it's hot as hell. It says my temperature on the camera, hot as shit. Just hold that. Okay. And remember to read your car manual and see how much quartz your car takes. The Honda takes five, so this whole Joe right here is five. And I think it's usually V6 engine, you would need six quarts. And your oil is supposed to go like that. Golden. Not black. If it's black, you definitely need to change that shit. Uh-oh. Is it hot? It's stop recording. 